Hi, I'm Pete McDonald with Boating Magazine. Welcome aboard the all-new Sea Ray SLX 260 Surf. It's a luxury family bow rider that you can surf behind thanks to Mercury's all-new Bravo 4 S Drive. It's a forward-facing drive that really changes the dynamic of your family bow rider. Hop on board, let's check it out. Let's start with this electric tower. It comes standard with the surf package. It's got a tow point, a fold out bimini. You've got the optional board racks and it raises and lowers with the push of a button. So why would you choose a bow rider over a dedicated surf boat? Well, for one thing, the SLX 260 is just way better set up for a family day on the water. It's just meant to cruise around and hang out on your local lake. You can fit 12 people aboard this SLX 260 and the seating whether in the main cockpit or up in the bow, is spacious and really comfortable. Up in the bow, you have strategically placed grab handles for safety, and the flip-down armrests only add to the creature comforts. All the seat cushions lift on gas-assist struts to reveal cavernous finished storage compartments. Here's another thing I really love. The co-captain's chair spins all the way around to create a perfect spotter seat so you can kick back and watch your kids in the water. Our test boat included the optional electric windlass, which is such a great feature to have because it makes raising and lowering the anchor just so easy. It's just the push of a button. I really like this helm setup. The boat is super easy to drive. You've got sea zone switching for all of your ship systems. The boat comes standard with twin nine inch Simrad multifunction displays. And like all Sea Rays, this boat comes standard with a fusion stereo system. The port side console opens up for a great changing room. And if you upgrade to the vacuum flush toilet, you make the boat even more family friendly. The aft sun pad is a great family hangout spot. It's also the perfect staging area for water sports. Whether you wanna go surfing, tubing, skiing, or wakeboarding. You flip up the aft pad, you've got a convenient cooler built right in. There's a stereo remote for the standard fusion stereo system. You've got cup holders. You've got a 12 volt charger for your electronics. My favorite feature is the flip down swim step on the swim platform, which makes it really easy to get in and out of the boat. The key to the whole surf package is the Bravo 4 S drive. It's a forward facing drive that hides the props 26 inches under the boat. That means it's safe for swimming, for surfing, for any water activity, you don't have to worry about running into the props. The twin contra-rotating propellers also give the boat great handling, especially in slow speed, close quarter situations, such as docking or when you're putting the boat on a trailer. Part of the reason for that is the contra-rotating propellers, but the drive is also a little closer to the center of the boat rather than hanging off the back of the boat, so the thrust better directs the boat than a traditional stern drive. Considering this is a family bow rider, the ballast system is excellent. You can add 1,800 pounds of water ballast in three separate tanks. And they're all below the deck, so it doesn't sacrifice any storage. It's push button to surf right or left. You don't need to transfer ballast as you do on some other boats. To talk about how this boat surfs, we brought along expert rider, Cody Prizer. There's so many features about this boat, the two screens, it just makes it so easy to sit here, control everything without disengaging from the people in the boat. With these Simrad screens, we can toggle through the features between the surf menu, the wakeboard menu, and the ski and tube menu. First off is this launch capability here. This launch software allows the driver to be more engaged with the driving process and less on the throttling up and down. Here I can drop down the intensity of how quick the boat comes out of the water. This is great for new boat drivers, but also for new surfers, new people behind the boat. Allows the boat and the software to take a lot of control over how fast the boat is coming up out of the water. We can also scale it back up for the more experienced drivers and the more experienced riders that want to have more control over what's going on. The next user-friendly feature of this boat is the ways that you can scale up and down the size of the wave. This allows the really experienced surfer to get that big curling wave that they desire or scale it all the way back down. 
for a nice mellow wave for the person getting out there for the first time. For your more experienced driver that really wants to dial in the characteristics behind the boat, we can go here to these advanced settings. Here we can see what each of the ballast tanks is sitting at, also able to control the tabs on the fly. Makes it really easy to flatten out the wake or ramp it up and make it real steep, depending on what the rider wants to do. When we took this thing out, we really put the surf characteristics to the test. It's a long, nice long wave. It allows you to have fun on the wave face. It's got a lot of push, so it keeps you in the pocket, which makes it really fun, really easy for those people that haven't let go of the rope to find the sweet spot, toss the rope, and get that surfing behind a boat feeling that everybody comes out here for. This Sea Ray really surprised me in its weight characteristics, and it stands up with those other ones out there on the market. On the Sea Ray SLX 260 Surf, you can surf, ski, tube, or just have a great day on the water with your family. I'm Pete McDonald with Boating Magazine. Let's go have some more fun.